The Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded Monday to two researchers for a breakthrough in cancer treatment. Their work involves immunotherapy. That's a treatment that uses the body's own immune system to fight cancerous tumors. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook sat down with one of the recipients, James Allison. So when you heard you won the Nobel Prize in Medicine, what did, what did you think? What did you say? Uh... I, I, you know, I'm still digesting it, you know, I thought, I guess what I thought was, you know, it's every scientist dream, you know, a basic scientist dream to, you know, do, you know, discover how things work, discover important things. In my case, it was, you know, how T cells are, are regulated and... Uh, immune cells. Immune cells work. And then, and then uh, uh, you take, take that information and use it to uh, develop a new strategy for treating, you know, in this case, cancer. How many years of research have led to this moment, you winning the Nobel? Well, I would, I would start the, the clock, I suppose, when I first got the, worked out the structure of the T-cell receptor, which was in 1982. Okay, so we're talking about decades of research, and you had to know very well that a lot of research leads to a dead end. Yeah. Well, it depends on what you mean by a dead end. Well, I, mean, sometimes I, you I can... didn't go into this work to try to figure out how to do something about cancer. I went after it because I wanted to know how the immune system worked. So this was epiphany. Yeah, but I mean, but let me put it this way. I, I've had a lot of cancer in my family. I've had cancer. You know, I, you know, I, I wanted to do something about it, but, you know, I didn't really know enough to just come in there and say, I'm going to treat cancer. What I can tell you, one thing, and I know for sure, is that somebody who went into this work and said, I want to figure out how to use the immune system to treat cancer, would never have found C to A4. They would just not have found it because they would be dealing with known concepts and trying to move, you know, stuff forward incrementally. And so I'm a firm believer in basic research, you know, just quality basic research where you're doing good sound, you know, puzzle solving to hopefully important issues, you know. So you then you think about the cancer. I mean, that's what I did. I saw this thing, this C24, and I, over the years I'd noticed some stuff like, like I said, there's um, tumor cells can't give that second signal. You know, I proved that by putting the molecules that give it in and showed that they got rejected. And that gave me a clue, you know, that tumors are invisible to the immune system for a while. And then they have a head start, and if C24 turns off the I mean, response before it's had time to, you know, kill all the tumor cells. So you did some basic research first to just figure out, like, how do these cells work? Yeah, that was it. That was the question that was in my mind. How do these cells work? And then once you figure that out a little bit, yeah. you said, oh, well, maybe it's related. Maybe we can yeah, use it maybe, to yeah, fight exactly. cancer. exactly. I thought, oh, maybe we can, you know, keep them going longer and let them, let them unleash them to go kill cancer. And so that's what it was about. What are you thinking today on the 94th birthday of President Carter, who, who may be alive today because of the work that you helped do? Uh, I'd like to send him a message and tell him happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. And congratulations to you okay, on your you. Nobel. Okay, thank you.